Thank you all for coming. Uh, this is a, a really important season for us um, as a team. It's We've kind of been grooming um, a group of seniors. Um, we have four seniors this year, and we've kind of been grooming them um, to make this year the year. Uh, you know, since I first took over this job, this would be my second recruiting class, but really the first one that we were able to get some really quality players and into it. Uh, and, you know, Jenny and Steph, um, two examples, they've really started um, since, they, since they arrived on campus. So we're excited. Uh, the expectations are really high, um, not just set by me and my coaching staff, but by set by our team. Uh, and they really come out with that same focus every single day that we step out on the court. It's been really, really fun to coach them this year because I don't have to yell and scream and, and do all the antics that I've had to do in the past. I can just really coach um, because we have such a, such a group that's committed to being successful. Then we have these underclassmen that are really um, taking pride in following in their footsteps and following their lead. Uh, Lizzie Odegaard being one of them. You know, she's coming off such a successful freshman year campaign making the all newcomer team um, last year and, and she's looking to um, really continue that along with we have a freshman class that is really providing some great minutes for us on the court right now. It's going to be tough to figure out actually which five are going to be starting for us and which five are the next ones coming off the bench. We are very deep this year, um, which is the first time I can really say that. Um, we have a tough schedule laid out in front of us. Uh, we were selected to play in the preseason WNIT. Uh, which is the most prestigious uh, preseason tournament in the country. Uh, and we open up at Drake, who did not lose a home game last year on their court um, all season. So it's going to be a, it's gonna definitely be a true test for us. Uh, but our team, I think, is going to be ready for sure. Absolutely. You know, I mean, there obviously is that extra added pressure. Um, and I've been placing that pressure on our team every single day in practice. We've had 15 practices so far. And the word that I've used consistently <coughs> with them is perfect. Um, every drill that we do, we want to do it perfect. Um, the details are really, really important. We have the skill and the ability to win the league, and now we've got to perfect the little details of the game. So that's something that we, we're, we're really, really striving for day in and day out. Um, every single drill that we do, we're doing it right. Uh, and that, I think, is leading them into those pressure situations, which then will also put us in a position to be successful at the end of the game. You know, and I just, I think more than anything, it's just watching my players come into practice every day and the mentality that they have, the focus that they have, um, the energy that they're playing with right now. I definitely think playing, you know, last year in the WBI, WBI and getting some wins there is definitely propelling us right now because that gave those upperclassmen those leadership opportunities um, in that moments to kind of step up and understand what it takes to continuously succeed at that next that next level um, but more than anything you know it's I had a coach actually come to a practice the other day that's a mentor of mine and she said I was really surprised at how relaxed you were and how um, how just easy it seems for you this year um, because and it's due to our student athletes it's just I don't feel like I have to like I said <coughs> yell and scream and and because they're doing it to each other I mean they're the ones that are demanding it of each other. I mean, there's times I'll step in to say something and my upperclassmen are already huddling the team or pulling somebody to the side and coaching them. Uh, so it's just, it's really fun to be a part of it right now. The energy is really high and, um, and I know that's going to carry over when we start games. You know, our senior class has really stepped up. Um, I, I would predict that the four of them will be on the court. Um, when we tip off. Um, other than that, it's, it can be very rotational. Um, Lizzie's been playing very well. Um, we have you know, some of our guards, Sydney Staver, Jamie Wright, Akela Hayes has been playing well in the last few practices. Um, the good thing about that is I can mix our rotations based off of matchups. So if we're going into a team that's a little bit bigger, you know, I can actually switch Jenny out to the three and play another post player like Lizzie. Um, if we have a team that's a little bit smaller, maybe we put Jenny, Jenny at the four and bring in another guard. So actually it makes me feel more comfortable because I know then that we're going to we're going to be able to adapt to whatever team that we're playing. Um, and I think it's going to provide for more competition throughout the season because if you know you're you know, if I can switch the lineups up here and there, it puts you in a position where you know you're fighting for something all the time, uh, and you know you're in, kind of in that mix to be one of those maybe starters. So actually, I feel a little bit more comfortable on it. I would like to get a set rotation here uh, <laughs> in the next few weeks for sure, um, but, but we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, you know, when I took over the job, the focus, and this is what I've talked to our team a lot about, um, my focus was so much more on the culture aspect and building the culture up. 
getting them to play hard was the first step. You know, just having an understanding of what that takes to lay your heart on the line every single possession. Um, and that took two or three years before they fully bought into that. Um, now it's it's easy for me to come into practice and into game situations and know that we're going to give everything that we possibly have. Um, plus, we've got really great character people because we've recruited them all, and they're just they're outstanding young women um, that we're working with. They're outstanding students too. So it's just I'm not having to beg them to go to class. I'm not having to beg them to work hard at practice. And so now I actually get to coach, um, which is what I was hired to do. And so I'm really, really enjoying my job right now because it's the coaching factor is, I think, what is going to um, kind of change us from being, uh, you know, a really good team to an elite level team. And the fact that I'm able to do that now has kind of been the change of the program over the last six years. And, and I'm really loving my job right now. Um, definitely, and I think it makes practices just that much more competitive. I mean, we're going so hard every day against our practice players and against ourselves, and I think that that just makes us better every day. And then also knowing that, you know, if if you need a sub, you can, you know, we can you can trust people coming in behind you. You know, we're so deep; it's not like we lose anything when we sub. So, yeah, I think that it really it's going to show this year. Like we push each other; we have really high expectations for ourselves. There's times when, like an underclassman will say something to an upperclassman, and I think that just shows that. We're like working as a unit, and I think that no one, not having like a set like starting five, really is pushing everyone to their limits and really like exposing what they really can do and what mm -hmm. we're capable of doing. I'd be ecstatic if someone took my spot because how good are we then? The chances are that people are going to stop us is slim, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, it's interesting that you said that because at the beginning of the year, <laughs> when we were during the summer, I would have felt like you know this will be a great year for them to learn. Um, from some of our upperclassmen. Um, and then now I've watched them kind of grow into their own, um, and they're really <laughs> stepping up. Um, it's, it's been really fun to watch their progression. Um, you know, Alyssa Moore, uh, one of our freshmen from uh, the Chicago area, she actually is coming off of an ACL injury, so she's a bit behind. And then we uh, just actually had to do a scope um, and clean some stuff up. So her first uh, c actual coming back will be next week. Um, so excited to get her legs back under her, but it'll take her a little bit of time. Um, Brandy Bisping and Sydney Staver are two that I think will compete for minutes this year. Um, I've watched the growth in both of them, and especially in Sydney Staver. I mean, she's really come on strong these last two weeks. She's starting to get more aggressive um, and finding ways to score. And for the first time, she's starting to demand the ball, which I think takes most people until their sophomore year to where they're actually willing to yell at a senior to reverse reverse or you know hit them in the corner she's now I mean she's really speaking up vocally um, that she needs to get touches which I think says a lot um, she could be definitely a scorer for us on the perimeter which would help us very much like Lizzie said I would love to play people at three minute spurts and let them go as hard as they possibly can for three minutes get them a quick break and then get them back on the floor the deeper that we are the better this opportunity is so the better that our freshmen play the more opportunities we're going to have to actually to perform that um, and then like Steph said how good are we then if we can if we can go that deep and, and get some of these high high level players some some quality breaks well yes our conference is very strong um, and adding IUPUI also um, makes it stronger because they're a very good team as well and they're coming off of a postseason appearance last year on the women's basketball side. Um, you know, it started last year. I think when we beat Green Bay at home by 12, um, it gave our team, all of a sudden it was this, oh wait, we can play with pl people like this and we are tough enough um, to beat a team like this. That carried over in the conference tournament. You know, it was a three point game with, you know, 30 seconds and under. Um, and then, you know, the ball didn't bounce our way and, and we made some mistakes, some errors down the stretch. So I, I don't feel like our team is looking at any one particular in our conference and feeling like there is a giant anymore. Um, I feel like our team, to be honest with you, I feel like our team feels like they are the giant um, that is coming out. And to be picked fourth in the league, I think is a very good thing for us because I think it makes our team that much hungrier um, to come out and be successful. So it's a good feeling to have to know that your team has confidence in themselves um, and that their coaching staff has confidence in them that, that this is going to be a special year. Um, well, I will say my transition from freshman to sophomore year is a lot easier than high school to freshman year, but um, I feel like after having a, a year of experience knowing the program and the conference, I feel a lot more comfortable and I know, you know how things go. Um, I think that this year is a lot more of me stepping into like more of a leadership role and opening my mouth and being able to, you know, like demand and teach and help other freshmen now. Um, 
So I'm just really excited to get going here. Um, I think it's been a much smoother transition this year.